My name is Reverend Benjamin Franklin Isel. I am a Reverend Minister of the Methodist Church of Ghana. And at the same time, um, I have the passion for music. Um, so I would say that I am a part-time musician as well. So basically that's what I do. And I'm about releasing um, a single with the title, But They That Wait, originally composed by one of Ghana's great composers, legendary composers, Reverend New Love Anand. I wrote They That Wait Upon The Lord in the year 2000. And I always associate the song with the election of President Kufo, because I remember it was around that time and the euphoria in town, how people were happy that he had won. It was an inspiration that I got from a wallpaper that was in, in a room where I lived at that time. And it said, they that wait upon the Lord shall, re shall renew their strength, Isaiah 40, 31. And I used to recite it a lot because it was on that um, calendar or that wallpaper on my wall. So I, I liked it and then uh, it turned into a song in my mind. This contemporary version is featuring Pastor Helen Yosin, who is one of Ghana's iconic gospel musicians, foremost gospel musicians, fine voice. So I got a call actually from Hakim, who's the producer. So he said to me, oh, there's a song that they want me, um, he thinks that I will, he, he will want me to be on. So I said, oh, what song is this? And he said, oh, uh, Mr. Ben Essel. And um, this song, I said, oh, okay. So that was quite a while ago. It was actually, I'm looking through my messages and I think it's, <laughs> I, I see 2021, even in my, so my message 2021 2022 we kind of went back and forth before we actually met up to actually even do our first rehearsal on it yes so this song was recorded at the p16 studio in community 2 that is where the production started with the um, engineer safu kwame safu and then um prince hakim matthews also came on board and in addition to um safu he helped out with the production recordings and then arrange song arrangements and then the vocal arrangement was done by Nicholas Annan. Nicholas Annan he did the vocal arrangements and it was finally mixed and mastered by the legendary Kuda. Day uh, that wait, day that wait remix, Conte remix, that's how I call it. So uh, he called me one day that, oh, he gets some song, I, I, I thought he was, it was his own song. And it was like, oh, we be chorus song where I don't do am content. So me there, I knew that it was one of those things. So when he came back, when he came to the studio and then he said, oh, they that wait. And I said, okay. Then this song there, me too, I've been thinking about the song that we can do something about it. So it's a good idea. So he sang it, I just opened the software for him to record something, the basics. I played what I can play because I wasn't too good with the notes of that song. So I called one guy, after he is done, I called uh, Fifi and the Siamwa to come and give us the choral notes to the song. So when he added it up, I started putting some contemporary elements to it, loop, maybe pad, try, try to add a little bit of drums to it and all that. So. At a point, I felt there was something missing. So I sent the files to Hakim to also do his guitars on the song. And then since he's a good producer and a good pianist to us, so I told him to add, feel free to add anything to the song to make it rich. So when he brought it, he had given the song a different touch and a different arrangement, which was so cool. So I was contacted by Kwame Safo, my brother, P16. And he told me about the song and he wanted me to do a little adapts um, and also see what I can do with the arrangement at a certain point. So, but already the foundation had been laid, the basic arrangements had been done. So I just did a little, put a little twist to it and then added a few other elements. Yeah. I did the rearrangements of the song and um, I also did the guitars and the keyboards on it. Then Isaac Obri added some auxiliary keys and I think Jazzy played the bass for this and then Emmanuel Bludo played the drums for it. You know it's it's a it's an iconic song, but they died way to put the composition, the lyrics, it's a big, it's a huge song. It's a it's a it's an 
I don't want to say amazing, but I can say phenomenal. It's a phenomenal song. Perfect song. I didn't even know it was written by a Ghanaian. It's just a big song. And when you are touching songs like that, it's um, it's like you're touching a national treasure. So you make sure you, you put place in the hands of the people who can do the justice to it. And especially transitioning it from choral to contemporary gospel. You want to be sure that you capture the essence of the song. You don't lose the essence of the song, but you just find a sweet way of trans translating it in a way that people can still appreciate and love it as they've always done. Well, so far, those those who have listened to the song have testified to the, the power of God in it. They've testified that the song has really inspired them, um, especially the message in it that we should wait on the Lord. Some of them have even testified that before they had heard the message, they had heard, they had wait upon the Lord, but they were not so sure of the meaning of it. But the song has brought another dimension and another light to it. There are periods in my time when I wished that I had waited upon the Lord because I took certain decisions on my own without inquiring of the Lord. That didn't help. But this was after um, the song, you know, I had rated the song. And it's not all the time that uh, people are go by what they have written uh, as a result of an artwork or something like that. So I think this is a, a lesson for me myself personally, that the gifts that God gives us through songs or through any artwork are a testament, they are commandments that we should abide by them. They are a reminder of what God can do. So all the time when we sing songs, we don't just have to sing them for singing sake, but it has to remind us that God's promises and his covenants are true. So we should wait upon him and abide by his word. That scripture is in the, I think it's in the book of Isaiah, Isaiah 40, 31. It is they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. For me, that scripture for me is an everyday scripture that every day is a, actually, I don't necessarily see it as, oh, I'm going to wait on the mountain for 40 days. I see it for me, they that wait, depend and trust and rely on God shall renew their strength. So for me, it's a daily, for me, it's a daily use of that scripture, that every day I have to wait, every day is a day that I need to wait on God to see what he wants to do and where he wants to go, because in my, str in my strength, I can't do, I can't do life myself. So. Every day, no matter how small it is, no matter how small the situation is, every day is a day to wait on God so that he can renew my strength and I can actually go out and soar and not walk the normal way. Everybody else is walking, but I want, I want, another, I want an extra strength in my steps when I'm walking. So every day is a day for me to wait on God. My reaction when Reverend said he wanted to do a contemporary version of that song was a surprise. Because the song is a classic song, you know, it's a classical sort of choral classical sort of song. So I was wondering how he was going to turn it into a contemporary piece. We all still are yearning to hear the outcome of what he has done with the song. And I know him, I know he's done a good job with the song. So Wait Upon the Lord is now available on all online platforms. So you need to be streaming that song because the song is powerful. So go there and stream this song. And don't just stream it for your enjoyment, share with somebody else. So get the song. I know you're going to be blessed. You're going to be, you're, it's going to be on replay. You'll be playing it over and over. So go on all online platforms and stream this song. It's going to be a great blessing to you. Assuring you that the song you are about to hear is a spirit-filled song. And it is going to inspire you. So just go out there, purchase it, click on it, stream, download, and then watch. And the Lord will bless you. You'll be a blessing. Thank you very much. God bless you. Shall we need? Shall